The goal of social marketing is to influence attitudes and change behaviors for the benefit of individuals and communities for the greater social good. In this mock, you will discover how to apply social marketing to reduce absenteeism, a problem suffered by organizations working with people with disabilities. It is essential to carry out strategies aimed at our target audience so that they feel heard and can collaborate by providing solutions that benefit everyone, such as raising awareness, improving attitudes, increasing motivation, encouraging greater involvement, informing and training employees, among others, using segmentation and targeting, internal marketing strategies, internal both upward and downward, and external communication campaigns. Now, we are prepared to address three problems. The first one, how to reduce the absenteeism level of professional care assistance at labor environment. The second one, how the informal caregivers who provide palliative care services to their relatives at home environment can be encouraged to acquire professional qualification. And the third one, how to reduce young trainees' absences and dropouts at vocational training. Going through the first issue. It is essential to analyze who your target audience is. In this case, we intend to reach professional assistants who care for people with disabilities and with significant activity limitations. Focusing on the problems detected, we propose three objectives. Strengthening internal communication, improving engagement and motivation, and incentivizing caregivers who avoid absenteeism while some public recognition is done. Going deeper to reach the objectives and the targets, two marketing campaigns were designed. The first campaign is based on the company Culture Communication to provide greater clarity and consistency to the implemented absenteeism rule. And the second one is a motivational and engagement campaign that includes activities to reinforce caregivers' day-to-day -day exercises and public acknowledging. To carry out both campaigns, different media and several actions are used by clarifying internal organizational rules through special meetings and collaborative games, setting a no absenteeism target for the group and placing a smiley emoji in the chat every week, we reach the target with a picture of those who have achieved it, creating some positive reinforcement mechanisms for the performance of the role, displaying in bright colors posters with 10 emotional pictures, showing the importance and affection the caregiver received from the clients. These photos should be hung in large format in places where they can be seen by everyone. Involving family members to participate in the activities and posting photos with each team. Addressing our second issue. Our target audience, in this case, belongs to two distinct groups of people. Firstly, informal caregivers, who provide palliative care services. They are reluctant to attain training due to lack of self-esteem, stress, domestic problem, lack of time. They think they know how to do it, lack of motivation, and so on. And secondly, professional caregivers, who should provide this training but do not have time or lack motivation to participate in it. In this case, we have proposed several objectives. For informal caregivers, raising caregivers' awareness of the need for training and offering psychological therapy, and for professional caregivers, encouraging to continue developing professionally and social interconnection. Going deeper to reach the objectives and the targets, two marketing campaigns were designed. The first is an awareness campaign for informal caregivers, aimed at changing the personal behavior of caregivers and raising awareness about healthcare education benefits, including psychological training contents. The second, a commitment to social and professional support for caregivers, focusing on the care of both the caregiver and the dependent patient. To carry out both campaigns, different media and several actions are used by raising awareness of the need to not only take care of family members, but also to take care of themselves, offering a bundle of five psychotherapeutic free sessions after completing the first module, by placing flyers in hospitals, municipalities, and billboards to inform about the training news offer, organizing meetings between professionals and informal caregivers, and sharing problems, 
moods and online socializing. Improving information by updating the online repository to avoid misinformation. Finally, focusing on the third issue. Young trainees with disabilities and or handicaps have a high dropout and absenteeism rate due to lack of self-esteem, lack of interest, low expectations of joining the labor market, and family problems. Focusing on the problems detected, we propose three objectives. Increasing motivation among trainees, improving the image of vocational training for both family members and students, and promoting a mentoring program between employers and trainees. In order to achieve the objectives and goals, three marketing campaigns were designed. A strategy of reinforced motivation to strengthen self-esteem and confidence and contribute to the development of social and personal skills. Image enhancement campaign to improve vocational training image between trainees, parents and community. Business active mentoring program supporting by an entrepreneur or group of companies. Also, in this case, to carry out the three campaigns, different media and several actions are used, such as grouple activities focusing on positive feelings and self-care in order to reinforce their motivation, students' achievements as a reward system, giving a diploma or a medal, recording a short film to improve the image of vocational training to the community, organizing visits of the students to the companies. Well, in sum, through the social marketing and case study approach, practitioners would be able to develop alternative and innovative solutions to social inclusion problems.